the Lion M698L assembly demonstration. Here we have the landing gear assembly box. Spare parts. Mainframe assembly box. Here we have the mainframe assembly. APSN flight controller. Motor arms assembly box. Locate the landing gear assembly box. Here we have the landing gear assembly, landing skids, and gimbal mount carbon tube. Temporarily loosen the four screws. Install carbon landing skids. Tighten with 2mm hex driver. The skid position can be adjusted based on your CG. Locate the mainframe assembly box. Take out the mainframe assembly. Temporarily set the APSM box aside. Temporarily remove canopy from mainframe. Flip the frame upside down. Now we're going to install the gimbal carbon tubes. Loosen the tube mount screws with 2mm hex driver. Slide gimbal mount carbon tube into mount. Ensure both tubes lined up. Now tighten the screws with 2mm hex driver. Now we're going to install the retract assemblies. Temporarily loosen the 4 M2.5 landing gear screws on each side. Attach the landing gear assembly and tighten the screws. Repeat for the other side. Open the battery hatch and remove the battery tray from frame. Route the retract wires through the frame. Now we're going to flip the frame right side up. Here we have the APSM already mounted to the frame and the PCU is underneath. Disconnect the cable between PCU and APSM. Remove the six twist off screws. Using a 2mm hex driver, temporarily remove all 12 screws. Remove the upper carbon plate and set it aside.
locate the external LED module. Balance through the wire organizer hoop. Now roll it through the opening where retract wires came up. Remove the double-sided tape backing. Tape it to the retracts. Now we're going to connect the retract wires. Route the wires through the wire organizer hoop. Plug both wires into the gear ports on the PCU. Take the motor arm assemblies out of the box. Note the direction identifier stickers on each motor mounts. They are either clockwise rotation or counterclockwise rotation. The frame is labeled as M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, and M6. Locate M1 motor tube assembly. Temporarily remove the two 3x6 mm screws. Notice an opening in the threaded sleeve. Stick a screwdriver inside to prevent it from rotating while taking the screws off. Notice the two arrows pointing to the screw holes. Confirm matching stickers and mount the motor tube assembly to the frame. Temporarily fix the arm in place with the twist off screws from earlier. Now install a 3x6mm screw removed from the motor tube earlier onto the lower plate. Tighten with a 2.5mm hex driver. Repeat for the other arms. Here's what the complete assembly looks like. There are three wires coming out of each motor tube assembly. There's a red positive wire, there's the black negative wire, and there's the black signal wire with three pins. Here are the power distribution cylinders. There is a positive cylinder, and then there's a negative cylinder. Set the signal wires aside for now. Route the wires through the wire management hoop. Connect the red wire to the positive cylinder. Connect the black wire to the negative cylinder. Here we have all the power wires plugged in. Route the signal wires from the four front arms through the wire management hoop.
grab all the signal wires into a bundle. While keeping all the wires ends equal, tucking any excess wires. Pull the strap on the wire organizer to tighten. Repeat for the other side. When finished, go back and confirm all wires are connected properly. Now remove the six twist-off screws. Route all the signal wires through the upper carbon plate opening. Also route the PCU wire through the upper carbon plate. Attach upper carbon plate back to frame. Double check to ensure no wires are pinched under the frame. Install all 12 screws using 2mm hex driver. Install the six screws from the motor tube assembly removed earlier. Now insert the twist-off screws and tighten. M1 goes here. M2 goes here. For the two rear arms, there are two holes for the twist-off screws. Use the inner hole for this multicopter. Again use inner hole for M4. M5 goes here. M6 goes here. Notice each signal wires are labeled as M1 to M6. Plug each signal wire into the corresponding port on the APSM. Note the polarity, S should be on top. Connect the PCU wire back to the APSM. Note the polarity. Locate the APSM box. Take out the GPS sensor. Route the wires through the wire management hoop. Remove backing from double-sided tape. Attach GPS sensor to mount. Note the arrow need to point toward the nose of aircraft. Connect GPS wire into the GPS port in APSM. Note the polarity.
Leave some slack on the wire and tighten the strap on the wire organizer. Here's the finished assembly. Mount the canopy back to the frame. Be sure it's properly latched to the lower frame. Assembly complete.